just like that. I tap it with a spike that. Ha ha, just to get you out of Gotta nail this one down. All right, hey everybody, Matt here from Around Square. And I just wanted to put together a little video to introduce a couple of the new things that we got coming out in our next launch, which is coming up next Friday. Normally I'll put together a, an email sharing a bunch of product specs and everything, and I, I'm still planning to do that, but I am too hyped on this launch and I wanted to share some of my excitement. Um, so to start, I'm gonna talk about some new versions of the MK Ultras. The original Ultras were launched a month or two ago and I, I was just blown away by how popular they were and, and all the support. So a sincere thanks to everybody who has encouraged that project and supported it. Um, I'm still struggling to keep these guys in stock. I've got new inventory coming hopefully in a, in a week or two. Uh, but in the meantime, I have also been pushing forward on a couple of new versions. So the first one is a slightly downsized version. Uh, the originals uh, were 11.8 millimeter beads uh, with a 15 millimeter at the top. Uh, so almost 12 and 15. The, the new version is 10 millimeters and 11.8, so like 10 and 12-ish. So it's it sized down a little bit in, uh, in profile and also the circumference is a little bit smaller. Uh, just, you know, it kind of made sense to, to go a little bit smaller because it's smaller beads. Uh, and I, I didn't know quite how it was going to look originally, but I, I've actually been wearing this daily since I first got the beads in. Uh, I, I love it. It's like kind of perfect for me, actually. Uh, I thought the original one was perfect and then I thought this one was perfect. So who knows? Anyways, beside it on there is uh, another new version, which is the Nano Edition. And this is made from our Nano Standard Beads, which have been available in some of our Beglary for a while. Uh, and these have turned out to be like surprisingly perfect. It's just like, it's a very satisfying shape to do the raindrops and some of the, the Comboloi style tricks with. And <clears throat> I was I was amazed too that like on the wrist, it, it ends up looking really nice. Like it's kind of like a box chain type type look. When I originally strung these up, uh, I was just like mucking around with some inventory one day. Uh, and I, just for fun, I threw it on, on a string and uh, even as I was stringing it up, I was like skeptical. I didn't think anything would come of it. And then I I put a micro boss on the end and the second I started playing with it, I was like, yeah, this one has to be a product. Um, one thing I've done with the Nano uh, Edition is I've I've actually drilled out the micro boss so that it's one, uh, a tenth of a millimeter wider bore. And that's just because uh, in the brass and copper uh, in particular, they they are a little bit tighter on the string for some reason. They're they're meant to be all the same spec, but I think maybe partly because they're they're tumbled and the the, uh, the bore caves a little bit, gets kind of tight, and so it's it's not so much a problem on the new cord. But then once the cord gets old, uh, it swells up a tiny bit and gets a little bit frayed, and so it, it it becomes a little bit harder to adjust the size. So so this one, like my own personal sets, I haven't drilled out the bore, but I did new sets up for sale and I've drilled out all of those ones. So it's like super smooth on the string right now. Uh, and I, I did a trial set as well. And even like, even after the string starts to swell up and get old, uh, it's nice and smooth still, but you don't need to worry about it like not locking. It still is good and strong. Like it, it's, it's still going to hold on your wrist just fine. Uh, and it's just like, you can do like two finger adjustment without any problem. Okay. So, uh, yeah, those are the new versions of the MK Ultras. Then I'll just quickly run through a couple of other things. The hardcore aluminum Titans are making a comeback. Uh, we've got the same colors and this time they're being, being sold with a random assortment selection of, uh, the aluminum newt cores. It's a great, a great weight. Uh, and yeah, I think the, the color accents look pretty cool with those guys as well. Okay, that's one. Then uh, got a new range of colors for the mini Delrin knuckle bones. So these guys were available ori originally in just, I think, black and green. Uh, and we've got them now available in the other colors. So those are all gonna be available in the shop. Um, I think it's only the, the black and green that have the word mark. The part of the reason why the inventory has been slow on these is, is just getting the, the right finish and mucking around with the laser etching. Uh, and so the other ones we ended up uh, finally deciding to not uh, do the laser etching 
uh, you know, I think on some of them, you, you, there's a kind of a faint etch, but but after it's polished, it's kind of hard to see. So so yeah, it's really just the black and the green where where you can clearly see the etch, right? Then keeping with that size and style of toy, we've got the new titanium mini honey bones. Uh, so these guys are the the honey bone style, you know, the honey dipper ends on the knuckle bone. And this just gives like a little bit of extra grip, but it also is like nicely reducing the weight. Uh, I don't have the, the weight spec offhand, but it's like you, when you put these guys in your pocket, you don't feel this like big chunk of metal in your pocket anymore. It's nice and light. Uh, yeah, so this has become a favorite f uh, of mine ever since I got the first prototypes in. Uh, and it's they're they're nice they're smooth and comfortable. Uh, if you want the full size honey bone, you can do it in the modular. But this is a solid piece, and we've got it in sandblasted tie, uh, machine finished tie, blue anodized and black PVD. Uh, then uh, uh, along the same lines, we got these guys. These guys are uh, silicone. So. <laughs> Uh, this was like kind of an experiment, but it, it ended up being like a pretty cool little experiment. I, I've heard just anecdotally over the years, so many people telling me that the knuckle bones are uh, great for their like hand rehab or hand health, uh, or just like kind of improving their dexterity. Uh, one little bit of feedback that I got though, is that when you drop them, it either like wakes up the baby or gets your teacher mad at you or whatever. So I'm hoping that these uh, silicone versions uh, will will be useful for people for various things, like whether you're using it in class or whether you're just trying to regain some strength and dexterity in your fingers. Uh, and you can use it for like kind of little exercises and that sort of thing, but it's like kind of a different style fidget than what we're used to with the regular knuckle bones. You know, they're, they're grippy obviously, so they don't flow as smooth as the metal ones, but they're, they're nice, they're fun, and you can do still do a lot of stuff with them. Right. So I'm going to be selling them uh, in packs of three with the regular size, the mini and the micro. Uh, and I've got them in black and I've got them in this kind of trans, whoops, translucent uh, silicone. It's like, a, it's not white. It's kind of, a, yeah, as, as colorless as it comes. Right. Yeah, they're, they're, they're just, they're kind of hilarious. Um, all right. So there's that. And then lastly, uh, using the same 10 millimeter beads, I, I couldn't resist doing a kind of a, a micro boss six stack with the 10 millimeter um, micro boss beads that were that were used in the MK Ultras. So that'll be available as well. So I think that's going to do it for this product launch. But, uh, you know, stay tuned. We got tons more stuff coming in uh, November, including these... Uh, these coins, everybody's been wanting these coins, but uh, yeah, they're not, sadly, they're they're done production, but they just haven't shipped yet. And I'm tired of waiting for them. So anyways, yeah, uh, lots more to come. And uh, if you have any questions, hit me up. Great, bye.